Well, no doubt the tourism product to take a significant blow following Hurricane Dorian as both Grand Bahama and Abaco are both major sources to the economy at large. But the tourism minister is optimistic the product will bounce back. And certainly for, for a number of months, at least at a minimum, um, we expect there to be a significant uh, decrease of foreign visitors to those islands. However, in Abaco especially, a lot of the foreign visitors to Abaco are second homeowners. And so we're expecting a number of them obviously to, to come in and assess the damage of their, uh, of their second homes and to, uh, and to rebuild as quickly as possible. As for Grand Bahama, the ballroom of the Grand Bukayan Resort was used as a hurricane shelter. It's the same property the government is hoping will jumpstart that island's bruised economy. I'm happy to report that the chairman uh, of the uh, Grand Lukai, or the Lukayan Renewal Company, that is the SPV that the government put that asset into, has fully insured it. Um, it has full replacement value insurance, and so any damage that uh, that hotel incurs we expect to be able to recoup it um, through the uh, insurance. So um, we have prepared for the inevitable. We have planned for it, and I think we're ready to, uh, um, to, to you know, move on from that. The minister is convinced tourism arrivals will have a speedy recovery, considering the little damage. Well, it goes without saying that the Bahamas will need all the help it can get to recover from the damage Dorian's wrought, particularly in Abaco and Grand Bahama. The good news is that the UK's Ministry of Defense's press office has confirmed that the British Royal Navy Auxiliary Aid ship is en route to offer support to Bahamians. The ship said to be fully equipped and capable of carrying an amphibious vehicle, including a helicopter for rescue and surveying operations. Now, the Royal Navy deploys ships every year ahead of hurricane season across different overseas territories, including Commonwealth countries, as part of its standard protocol to provide humanitarian and disaster relief. Well, Dominica knows all too well what it is to be pummeled by a major hurricane. After all, two years ago, the destruction category five Hurricane Maria wrought on the island was unprecedented. The Bahamas took immediate steps to offer support, sending an RBDF crew to assist with disaster relief and recovery efforts there. The Prime Minister also at the time revealed plans to accommodate students from that island displaced by the hurricane. Dominica is now returning the favor. Deputy Prime Minister Reginald Austria announcing that a $100,000 donation with education and other assistance was being considered. $100,000 to the government. And we're also indicating, if possible, to support US, US dollars. Uh, if it's possible, to assist the, the children of the Bahamas in their education. We will meet at 12 o'clock, as indicated, with the chairpersons of the ODM, the security services, the heads of the utility companies, and the representatives of the private sector to discuss a more comprehensive package of assistance that can be rendered to the people of the Bahamas in this very difficult and trying times. Deputy Prime Minister Osri went on to express heartfelt sympathy to Bahamians. That ends our news this evening. From all of us here at JCN News, do have a safe evening.